Hi there, this is Chris from MoneyHub, and this video explains the ASB True Rewards program. So we've put this video together to help explain our guides on MoneyHub, and basically what we've got here is a summary of the ASB program. So what's a true, so what is a true reward dollar worth? Well, the ASB claims it's worth one dollar, which is what we've written, uh, but you can't actually redeem it for cash back directly. Instead, the, uh, you can use it for other uh, things like partner stores, for example, no leamings, uh, Rebel Sports, Whipcores, etc. We can use them dollar for dollar to get discounts uh, from what you'd otherwise spend on a purchase. And there's a dedicated true reward shop, which I'll, link, uh, which I'll talk about as well. Plus, you can also put your balance on the ASB uh, KiwiSaver scheme if you are a member of that. So I think the easiest thing is to do is have a look at this thing called the calculator. True Rewards has its own website, which I'll link to down below in the description. And let's just go through this and make sense of it. So the best place to start is with the true rewards calculator. And what we've put in here is that the average uh, spend per month is $2,500. So that means over one year, you'll spend $30,000. Now this is just an estimate, but this just shows you the, the different earnings rates of the cards. And then if you look at that, then you can see if I just push calculate, then it's going to end in, uh, you know, if you spent $30,000 with this card, the ASB Platinum card, then uh, the rewards card will give you 300 uh, true rewards dollars. And it will also the business rewards card will also give you that. Whereas the ASB Visa rewards card, which earns a uh, little bit less, you can see the earning rate here is for $150 spent, you're going to earn one true, true reward. Whereas for the ASB Platinum cards and the ASB Visa card is going to be a $100 spent. So obviously you need to spend a lot less to earn those true, uh, true rewards dollars, but at the same time, you also need to pay a higher annual fee. So you can then have a look and see what the annual fees actually are. And we can do that by clicking on these links. So if you want to have a look, uh, two most popular options here really are this ASB Visa rewards card. So we just have to click on find out more. And you can see if you load that up, it's talking about all the benefits, the fact that $150 equals one true rewards dollar. And then if we carry on there, uh, you beyond where you can use all these true rewards dollars, it's going to tell you the annual fee. And the annual fee is going to be $40. So they've charged it at $20 every six months. And you can also look at their interest rates as well. And then if you want someone else to have a card on your account, and there's another fee for that too. If we have a look at the ASB Platinum card, uh, the rewards card, you can see there that it's $100 for every uh, true, true reward dollar. And that means that if you go down further, uh, you obviously pay more. And here we can see that the annual fee is $80, which is two payments of $40 per year. So to work out exactly what you need to spend per year, to kind of pay off the annual fee in a way, if you value one uh, true reward dollar to one uh, to one New Zealand dollar, then at a at an earning rate of uh, one hundred uh, spend equals one true reward dollar, and then applying the annual fee of uh, for eighty dollars, then it'll be eight thousand dollars, and that is what you need to spend to like earn eighty true rewards dollars, which which you could argue rightly or wrongly. That, that kind of balances out that $80 annual fee. Of course, if you get charged interest, then that's not going to help. And interest is always much more expensive than any reward. So that's why we always say to people, please, please don't get a credit card if you can't pay it off every month. So it's going to become really, really costly to spend your own money. Now, if we have a look at the other card, which is the Visa Rewards card, and this is obviously a uh, lower fee card, as we just previously saw. And it's got an annual fee of uh, $40, but at the same time, the earnings rate is lower. So that's earning at $150 spent per true, uh, for one true rewards dollar. So that means you'll need to spend $6,000 to break even on that card. And then from every $150 earned, uh, spent sort of uh, beyond that is going to mean that your true, true rewards dollar equals one. So that's why, you know, there's a difference here between what you earn. And if I was to put in, uh, you know, like a higher amount, say you spend $5,000 per month, quite a lot of money, uh, you can see then that, you know, this card's 
uh, this well, this card here certainly if we just ignore the business rewards card that starts to overtake you know the ASPVs for the rewards card earning quite quickly and of course if you go up and up and up then it's going to become more and more different now we don't see a lot of people spending ten thousand dollars a month on a credit card but you can see the difference is there uh, per year so it just kind of gives that premium because it's a 50 percent premium because that's what the earning rate uh, like the higher earning rate is now to spend these true rewards dollars let's get an understanding of that uh, you can see here that there's some options so there's partner stores and if i click on that we'll have a look through we've got merchandise so things you can buy online you've also got uh, gift cards uh, you, you've got travel now uh, you've got charity donations and you've also got the asb kiwi saver scheme so quite a lot of quite a lot of choices and they also have sales on different products and sort of rewards that they like to promo so if i just go straight into it you can see there's a whole bunch of different sort of items to purchase uh, there's appliances there's like books and magazines and there's just a lot of there's just a lot of choice here you may find much better deals you know if you go directly if you buy these books from Whitcalls or anything like that but these retailers always have sales on like we can't verify every single price here and you know what things cost compared to the market because they're changing all the time but it's worth knowing that if you're looking at something it's likely although this is a very sweeping comment that you'll find a cheaper price somewhere else just from what we've seen uh but of course sales do exist and so you know there's always options there so what what i'd suggest is uh, just having a look through it seeing the different options but from what we've looked at, some of the technology stuff is cheaper if you go directly to to uh, to a retailer. But of course, you're not uh, you know not every retailer is going to take uh, you know the true rewards dollars. So I'll just get on to that now. Uh, talking about which retailers do. So the good thing is the ASB's made it easy here with these partner stores. So there's uh, in-person stores and there's also online stores, and they've just said you just swipe your true rewards card and they'll and that will redeem them instantly. So you don't have to make any annoying gift card purchase and any of that sort of nonsense. It's just straight straight cash discounts from uh, from using your balance. So you can see here that these are very popular options. Uh, BP, Farmers, Mitre 10, you know, I, don't, I won't read them all out. No Lemmings, always got sales on, Torpedo 7, things like that, Ribble Sports, Pasco's Jeweler, uh, Bow Concept, uh, Furniture and all of that stuff. And then you've got food places as well and uh, sportswear and menswear and shoes and everything else and then you've also got online shops as well uh, so you can use them for you know travel so this is something to be like, aware of uh, because uh you know certain um certain uh, retailers also offer uh double points so that's the like of these retailers here or these uh sort of food and drinks places and uh you know it's just it's good to see like a range there and it it just means if you have like a farmer's bill of a hundred dollars and if you have a hundred true true rewards dollars then you can just deduct that from it so really really useful but what's really helpful is that you can split your payments so that makes this really really flexible so it's saying that if you don't have the full amount of true true rewards dollars to make the purchase then you can just use another payment form and the good thing is if you did use your ASB Visa credit card, then uh, well, then you're going to earn, uh, you know, true rewards dollars on that too with the remaining of the purchase and then use uh, your balance for, uh, for the rest. So you just have to talk to the retailer when you make that purchase, uh, but it's just, it's just showing that you're splitting the purchase on two different cards. So this is really, really helpful and this makes the program really, really flexible and something that we're quite uh, like pleased to see, to be honest. Now, further on, uh, partner stores, as I just uh, went through, and then uh, the gift card. So if you wanted to buy a gift card for anybody rather than, uh, you know, spend physical money, then you can just uh, go through. It's kind of, you know, similar to the uh, retailers, which have previously been uh, talked about, but you can see this flight center, there's all sorts of things there. So that's something to be aware of, and uh, it does make a, a buying presence cheap. Now there's also travel, so you can use House of Travel and Mix and Match, Mix and Match being the online booking system. And the good thing is you can part pay, of course. So this is really, really clearly laid out because very few people 
it would have hundreds or thousands of true true rewards dollars. So you can just make a part payment using your balance and then pay the rest with a card. So that's really that's clear. That's very flexible. There's also charitable sorry charity partners where you can donate them uh, to causes which the ASB has selected. And then you've got your Kiwi Saver option, where as we previously set out uh, in our guide, uh, you can just top up your Kiwi Saver balance with true uh, with true uh, rewards dollars. Of course, you've got to be like an ASB Kiwi, Kiwi Saver customer, so you can't obviously top it up. Say if you're with Milford or Simplicity or Kernel or anyone like that, it's got to go into the ASB pro uh, into the ASB fund. So they've laid all that out on their guide here. It can take up to 10 business days, uh, but it's something which is certainly unique and uh, something which we actually are quite pleased to see because it is useful. Rather than spend the rewards on something, you could actually invest them and see the value of that grow over time. And it is sort of like a dollar cash value, but it actually like appreciates if investing pays off, which usually it does in the long run. Uh, so we're actually, yeah, as I said, fans of that one. There's also sometimes things called a Koha store. At the moment, they're looking for donations to help Kiwi kids have a better winter. And there's also a prepay top up ability as well. So you can use your true, uh, true rewards dollars for that. So it's really, really useful. Uh, they work with 1NZ, which is previously known as uh, Vodafone. But we've currently seen that it's, uh, it's not available, but that can change at any time. So we're just putting that in for completeness. But it's worth knowing that you know in the past that has been offered. So just to round up, I want to take you through the ASB's page, which I've linked to down below, so you can have a sort of more of an understanding of the true rewards. So as they've said, you can use it as hunt, like you can use these rewards dollars at hundreds of partner stores. You can use them for your Kiwi Saver. You can use them for anything really, and uh, it's quite exciting to see such a flexible program. And what is very important is you know when do they actually expire because you don't want to earn them all and then find out that oh no i i never got to use them or they start expiring so so the answer here is that they expire once they reach the fifth year and when they were earned so it's really good to try and use them as fast as possible even if it's every year every second year because of course it, because you can part pay then it makes sense to be using them uh you know once you've got a, a little chunk of them and then you don't have to worry about them expiring or saving them up for something else. If you want to just invest them in the, and you are with uh, the ASB Kiwi Saver scheme, then you can do that as well. And we're a big fan of that one uh, rather than just buying stuff which won't go up in value. And what is the true rewards account fee? So, so the ASB charges nothing for that. That's consistent with most membership rewards programs, the likes of flybys, things like that. Uh, same with the New Zealand Airpoints. Uh, you know, they don't have any uh, fees for that. Where can you redeem them? Well, the answer is many, many places, as we've just discussed. So have a read through this. This is quite uh, useful because uh, it's just really summarizing what this, vid like, what this video is, showing that you can claim them very easily and there's always deals of the week. And, uh, you know, every purchase you make with a qualifying card will earn you those true rewards dollars. Now, if you do have any questions, please uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, the, probably the most obvious question is going to be, what is the best way to spend them? And we would say, you know, like with any partner, rather than purchasing, you know, a gift or something like that, probably just because we're quite conservative here and we want people to save money. So if the likes of the supermarkets and the petrol stations are taking them, which they are, then that's probably the best approach. Somewhat frustratingly, Countdown's only a gift voucher one, so you'll need to spend the $50 or, you know, part pay it to get that, whereas the likes of the petrol station uh, take it directly. Everything else, probably not a need, more, more than a uh, want, so, uh, you know, just be aware of that. But we are pleased to see New World, uh, sorry, Countdown on there, because that really is uh, quite useful for people and also the petrol station being uh, BP. So please, uh, if you, as I said, if you do have any questions, let us know. We want this guide to be as comprehensive as possible. 